Welcome to Traveling While Black. Hey, what's up? I'm Anthony. This is my wife, Marley, and welcome to another episode of Traveling While Black. Yes, welcome back, everyone. As a brief reminder, our show is usually based on our experiences traveling, and we basically experience it off of how good of a drive it was, how much fun we had, and most importantly, how comfortable do we feel as black people visiting for the first time? April 30th, 2023 will mark four years since Mars and I moved to the state of Washington. Yes, four years. It's flown by so fast, but it usually does when you're having fun. Yep. So for this episode, we wanted to celebrate our four-year Washington anniversary by presenting an episode focused on the top four things we learned since moving to the state. Yes, and although we have learned a lot more than four things, we are excited for this little episode to just give you our top four. So as always, take a look at the episode and let us know what you think. Four years ago, Marley and I landed at SeaTac Airport in Seattle, Washington to begin our new lives as Washingtonians. It did not come as a surprise that life in Washington was going to be totally different than in Missouri. And through the years, we've come to learn through experience what makes the state so different. So, to celebrate four years living in our new state, we are presenting to you the top four things we learned since moving to Washington. Number one, maneuvering through mountain passes. Being that Missouri is flat, until moving to Washington, we didn't have any reason to care about knowing how to drive through mountain passes. So, when we moved here and learned that in order to get to the other side of the state, you had to cut through the mountain range dividing it. We were a bit intimidated. But now, after four years and multiple trips to the east side of the state and back to the west, we've somewhat become pros. Two biggest takeaways in maneuvering through, keep chains in the trunk during winter, and always check the conditions via the Washington State Transportation website. The reason why the seemingly small fact stands out in our top four things learned since moving here is because for us being flatland Missourians to now confidently traversing the very conditioned mountainous pass speaks to our devotion to encourage travel despite initial reservations. Look at us now. Number two biggest thing we've learned since moving to the state of Washington is that we love the outdoors. When living in Missouri, we would rarely adventure outside in the wilderness. But since living in Washington, we've officially become outdoorsy people, from hiking some of the most unbelievable hikes in the Pacific Northwest to even camping on the side of a volcano. Added to us becoming outdoor people is the fact that we learned that nature unequivocally loved black people. Also adding to our number two fact is our number three fact, that the state of Washington has an abundance of different ecosystems along with two very different climate zones. Yes, in Washington, you will find everything from prairies to marine waters to grasslands. And in fact, it's one of the few places in the country where you can visit a rainforest and a desert. Which we have, and each have presented us with some of the most amazing views we've ever experienced. Beautiful. Finally, number four biggest thing we learned since moving to the state of Washington is there are black people here. Yes, there are black people here, ones that have been here long before we arrived and who are thriving, as well as new ones who've come since we've arrived and are also making the state an even better place to live. The state actually has a rich black history with a couple of towns that are still incorporated having been founded by black people. Also, a couple of towns attributing its survival to mass migration of black people. Hopefully, we too can continue in adding to the state's black history. Yes, and there you have it. Four things we've learned in the four years we've lived here. We also want to thank you all who have followed us on our journey so far, as well as new people who are just now joining us. Yep, thank you. So, here's to four years and many more to come. Until then, stay up, stay true, and always do you. We hope you found this episode to be helpful and entertaining. Be sure to check out our previous episodes. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on all of our social media platforms. Until next time, beautiful people, stay up, stay true, and do you.